We've got a great team here to lead us. They're going to go through a lot of different things. We've got great hospitality. Six, four, and one were my fairways? Yep. Okay. There's commitment on every level to be at this moment, at this time right here. Oh, one cut. One cut, one machine. Un paso, un maquina. Take advantage of the networking. Some great leaders in our industry right here in this room. <laughs> Back nuns on this side, oh, yeah. all right? All right, good to go, JB. A day one on the course is what I would almost always call our most difficult day. We have a lot of new people around who don't know the golf course. Uh, we've been here for about an hour, hour and a half now. As you can see, we don't have much light or much daylight to work with, so we have a lot of volunteers. They know what they're supposed to be doing, but just getting them in the right places to do that is always difficult. Come back right there. Perfect. With so many volunteers, we've had a lot of repeat volunteers, guys that have been here for five or six years that know what they're doing and they're essentially a member of our crew for that week. So they're extremely valuable. Heavy, heavy feet. We're gonna rake it again. The same expectations that we would have for our crew or for any one of our employees or myself for that matter. No, nah, let's rake it again. They're here, they're enthusiastic and they really seem to love it and enjoy it. We need to rake this out. One more time. Tournament golf, obviously a different animal. Uh, so setting expectations for, for the very first day is, is sets the tone for the entire week. Bunkers, a lot of people don't think much about bunkers, but you know, bunkers are, are, are very important on tour. Wonderful way to get a call back. Uh, certainly want to avoid those as much as possible. And a, a team, especially a team as big as this that we have here, all working together to provide one set of conditions and accomplish one goal is, is remarkable. Yeah, don't be afraid to get into that intermediate cut. You can get into that. It's the, the two and a half inch stuff we want to stay out of, okay? One of the reasons we like the 2500 is uh, for fairways. So obviously we, we mow our fairways a little tighter for this event uh, than most tournaments do. Um, we like, we use 11 blade reels. We want a, a high clip frequency uh, that we're looking for. Uh, obviously we like the small turning radius so that we're not turning in the rough. That's the biggest reason. Uh, you know, it's always a challenge not to lay down rough after you want to try to grow it up and get it as uniform as possible. So the goal is to be able to have a short turning radius and kind of go back and, and get your next direction. We really think the, the 2500 is a, is a great cutting machine. We realize that a lot of people use that for greens mowing, and we do too at times. Uh, but uh, if it's really good for greens, then it's going to be exceptional for fairways as well. No one person can be successful without the other person. Um, it takes the whole team pulling the, you know, the rope to pull it across the line here. Uh, it just takes, it takes everybody, and it takes everybody committed to the vision.